there were a lot of people those who all, always wanted to listen to my story but then i respected my life my relationship my breakup na yaar so why do i have to give it to the world why do i need to explain it to the world that what happened in my house how does that matter to anybody people have been uh, giving their own um, judgments on my life or what i did or what have i been doing or where am i heading or what happened about my career where is he what is he this has been happening since 2018 i don't blame neha also now i mean she's moved on she's happy in her life i'm happy for her. i am happy for myself i am living my life i am living my dream life i am working making money entertaining my audience but there are some people those who are still stuck in 2018 whereas we are living in 2021 you can't do anything about it she did her bit she was angry she must have posted something i was angry i didn't post anything my mindset at that time my uh, state of mind but who's more toxic toxic are the people now those who keep on uh, uh, pinpointing you they keep on poking you they will post all of that sometimes you know uh, there there are judgments that we pass and i mean it um, in good stead because i genuinely feel that as a media we sometimes become irresponsible uh but there are always two sides to a story himansh there was a much public breakup that happened and you have remained silent do you feel that that silence sometimes went against you especially in the media circle yes of course uh, if you are not speaking up a lot of people will always think that you are wrong but uh, there are a lot of other people who should also understand that there's something called privacy there's something called i don't want to i don't wish to wash my uh, linen public i just want to settle things in the house uh so i mean uh, there were a lot of people those who all, always wanted to listen to my story but then i respected my life my relationship my breakup na yaar so why do i have to give it to the world why do i need to explain it to the world that what happened in my house how does that matter to anybody that what matters is uh, that i should be happy if my fans want to know what happened with me uh that's fine but just for the sake of some masala for some fun I don't want to ever make my life uh, fun. मतलब वो कहते हैं ना मजाक मस्ती के लिए आपने बोल दिया किसी को कुछ भी. Assumptions and presumptions तो सबकी अपनी अपनी रहती है. People have been uh, giving their own um, judgments on my life or what I did or what have I been doing or where am I heading or what happened about my career. Where is he? What is he? that happens that keeps on happening that has been happening since the day i joined the industry now so i personally yeah. feel wo pehle ke kehte the na aapko um, actors ko bolte chikna ghada banna padta hai to mujhe pehle wo chikna ghada samajh nahi aata tha ki ye hota kya hai to agar aap mujhe ek galti se likh dete ki bahut buri acting kari hai to wo mujhe bura lagega fir main 15 20 din wo sochta rehta tha fir koi mujhe aur personally kyunki now is the time of uh, if you look at social media social media is a time of negativity right there are a lot of yeah. people those who don't wish to uh, acknowledge the fact that one is even daring to do something like this so people have been giving all the judgments media has always see a lot of media people have also been very 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 supportive to me and there were some those who always wanted just mere views and likes so till date abhi bhi abhi kya hota hai ki i keep on going on my news articles like for for wafana rasai also I sometimes I feel who to blame uh, and where to blame. I'm talking about Bafana Ras. I and the media is so irresponsible at times. They say, "Usme thumbnail pe lagaye Himansh Kohli ne diya uh, apne relationship or breakup pe jam ke uh, jawab." Where when you go to the content, there's nothing in you, in the video. All you can hear Himansh Kohli is talking about Bafana Ras. I talking to Arunchi, talking about Jubin, talking about Kashmir. There's no relevance yeah. to this. content the context you have posted and you know at times why i also blame the media for all such things yes fine you will get the views you will get the uh, uh, forwards shares but somewhere you know uh, i also uh, feel that you are sort of creating bigger threats for the actors because emotionally you are destroying the person Absolutely. one has to go through so much aapne to ek article likh ke dal diya aise line mein ki himansh ne bura bola सबके फैंस यार सबके इमोशन होते हैं मेरे फैन के मेरे लिए इमोशन होंगे अभी आप सलमान सर के फैंस हैं वो उनके लिए बहुत पॉजिटिव रहते हैं उनके लिए हमेशा लड़ने को तैयार है सर के हाज इज फैन आर्मी अक्षय कुमार हाज इज फैन आर्मी एवरी एक्टर हैज सो इट्स इज बैड टू जस्ट समहाउ पोक 
these uh, issues publicly and uh, the responsible ones are never complained but the irresponsible one are in abundance every uh, random abc youtube channel guy is a news reporter nowadays i don't know from where but they are news reporters sometimes i feel well, I the problem just... that i sense is uh, that sometimes see when you are when you are i always believe that when i'm when i'm signed up for a job which is acting in your case uh, you being critical Size for a movie and your performance is something else. That's criticism, and yes, people can that. be really brash about it. But some in this case, what I have noticed is, see, I've known you for some time. I don't know what happened between you and Nia. To be very honest, That's but I've funny. read only one side of the story. And what has happened is, there might not be a majority of of the audience who will wait to hear your side. It's not just with you. Had you come out with the side before, maybe they would have. Everybody would have trusted you, no matter what. The, the, mm. the psyche is that. what happens after that is people start attacking personalities and people don't attack their talent or their craft they attack you as a person and your personality and i know that because i've read those stories you know i've read those um, headlines that you're speaking about um mm. did at any point did you get affected at any point and especially did your family get affected at any point because so much has been written only about that see i mean uh, we are used to it now this has been happening since 2018 i don't blame neha also now i mean she's moved on she's happy in her life i'm happy for her i am happy for myself i am living my life i am living my dream life i am working making money entertaining my audience but there are some people those who are still stuck in 2018 whereas we are living in 2021 you can't do anything about it a lot of people say i have done something bad to a person whereas now you know why i feel happy because i know that i am not a bad person I have I'll have to sleep with that thought if I have done something wrong with anybody in my life I won't get a peaceful sleep for sure that is for sure neither do I need to explain in public that what is right what is wrong I believe it is just with the people that they should have this common sense that agar kisi ke beech mein ya gharon mein kuch hota hai to aap bahar ja ke tamasha to nahi karte uske liye aap apne ghar mein hi suljhate ho na har cheezon ko jhagde ho kisi aur ye kisi ke bhi ho sakte hain when uh, srk and salman khan fought have you ever seen them fighting in public ever they were so so i mean i'm telling you there will be thousands of uh, comments on each other indirectly but they will never come in directly uh, pinpoint each other and uh, they always respected the fact that they both are actors how uh, all of a sudden why you see uh, there is one day baba siddiqui is in between and the right side is in srk and the left side is the salman khan they are hugging each other how things are calmer now because again it is the, the journey is all about finding yourself understanding what matters the most and what doesn't really matter at all so my journey my people they uh, i have had my conversation with my people and they also tell me about all of this that you know what your talent will take you everywhere none of this is going to stay forever people have their own opinions they will always have it uh, sanjay dutt's made a full biopic on that yeah full film on that true 50% say he's bad 50% say he is good so all you can realize is that woh hai na yaar logo ko kehte rehna hai aapko apna karm karna hai to ab aap decide kar lo ki aap apna karm karoge ya ye soch ke use cancel kar doge ki yaar log to kahenge so why why should i come to it so peace is where um, uh, there is no conflict and if there are conflicts you need to probably sort them out rather than going out in public so all the trollers all the bashers i really don't care anymore i neither do i even want to talk about it why i am talking to you about it because again it has nothing abhi aaj ke zamane mein aaj ke time ke tarah se in in sab baatton ko koi validity nahi rehta because everybody is happy i am happy she is happy neither do i want to either get her name into this pr ye lage ki aise aise baat kar rahe The only thing I feel is that people should have more compassion towards other people. That uh, if there's there's a time like this, rather than throwing stones on people, just be calm, be at ease. This is where the mentality goes, right? If something happens, कहीं तो आप उसको संभालते हो या उसपे पत्थर मारने लग जाते हो जाके. तो the hey, negativity. Exactly. exactly that's why I asked you because um I see I will never pick a side because I don't know and it should remain that way. um there exactly. is a sense of dignity uh, because it happened between two people but the reason i asked you is because since 2018 i've never had a conversation with you but in the never, last year like you mentioned like you mentioned i've only been reading these things and yeah. you also deserve a chance to at least 
talk about the kind of judgment that you battled in the last 3 years everybody deserves a chance to be heard yeah. and that is my only intention you know and that was genuinely my only intention that the toxic behavior of the people has nothing to do with us i mean whatever was happening i don't even blame her for anything now she did her bit she was angry she must have posted something i was angry i didn't post anything my mindset at that time my uh, state of mind but who's more toxic toxic are the people now those who keep on uh, uh, pinpointing you they keep on poking you they will post all of that i think which is not required so now time is such that you've been seeing so much now a uh, pandemic is also a time when you hear matlab isse zyada bura kya hota hai yaar logo ko hame bura feel karana hai negative feel karana hai dabana hai artist ko ye feel karte hain superior ye soch ke ki ek comment agar maine artist ki wall pe अब्यूज लिख दिया गंदी गालियां लिख दी या वो लिख दिया कि ये फ्लॉप हीरो या फ्लॉप एक्टर तो उन्हें लगता है इनका हौसला टूट जाता है इन्हें पता ही नहीं कि हम कितने पीछे से अपनी मंजिल से तय करके आ रहे हैं और कितने स्ट्रॉन्ग होंगे मेंटली हम लोग कि हम क्रिटिसिज्म भी फेस करने के लिए रेडी रहते हैं इफ आई एम कमिंग एक्टिंग ऑन स्क्रीन दैट मीन्स आई एम गिविंग यू अर चांस ना कि आप मुझे कुछ भी बोल सकते हो दैट इज वाई आई एम देयर ऑन सेल नाउ ऑल ऑफ द पैंडेमिक सिचुएशन अगेन वट हर्ट्स द मोस्ट अगेन इज की in times like these people are selling off oxygen cylinders at 10 10 times high this is exactly what is wrong it's the mentality of the people we as people have to change first we need to figure out that where are we heading what is wrong in us rather than putting a blame on anybody else i Absolutely. that's why I never spoke up uh, never i chose not to speak on this issue ever neither do i want to put any derogatory mark on her it is fine there is nothing there is sorry there's all neutral uh, i would say um, uh, uh, we we are pretty neutral with uh, each other i mean there's no hate there's no love there's nothing there's literally nothing so i, I believe if we can maintain that i i should i think people should also have this kind of uh, uh, they should also maintain the same thing yeah absolutely uh, yeah just yeah. take care stay safe take care of your family thank you darling